Well, Welcome to the pew. Welcome to the pew. The homeless edition. Yeah. Wow, what a disappointment. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how disappointing it is. It, it, well, no. you don't look, you don't look disappointed. What, are, what about you, James? Are you disappointed? He's not. I'm not. That's so James. we were at the Wow no. the- Cafe no. Theater. They kicked us out. We're, wow, we're now wow. living in the Next. street. We're now on the bus stop on Allen Street. Don't know where to go. And we met what? this wonderful James. Fabulous. Yeah, well, so wonderful. Yes. Wow, what a bitch! We C. gave him a C. glass Suazo of wine. Cece Augustus is. Cece Suazo Augustus. How that you, bitch. How do you spell that? Oh, <laughs> I don't we, know. It's only in the morning to Saturday. Don't okay. ask me to do math. So, so after so, the Wow Cafe Theater kicked us out, we had to search high and low for a new place. And after selling Michael's kidney, oh, yeah. we found a place. Wow, wow. See? poor Michael. See, see the kidney. Mm. <laughs> <A small> kidney. <laughs> They had to make a very small incision to get rid of the, um, you know, to get rid of the kidney. Here's the kidney. And then and I had to sell my testicles. We're now at the LES space, 201 Allen Street. With our new friend James. With our new friend James at the bus stop. James at the bus stop. Wow, we're moving on up. And James says he's bisexual. He says he was labeled as bisexual by his town. I'm bisexual. I knew I liked him. And why did your town label you bisexual? Because of no. Because they're irrelevant. They're irrelevant. Yes. So, but you must have done something to uh, to make them label you bisexual. Did they kick you out of your town? Well, I I, I subdued them. You subdued them? Yeah. That sounds sex. That sounds kind of sexy. It is. Was it sexual? It did you pin sometimes. them down? Did you pin them down? I try. Yeah. Yeah. I've you subdued them before. What? Do you have a big dick? No. No? Yeah. Yes? <laughs> yeah, no. Are you going to show us? Oh, I have another glass of wine. <laughs> Happy Pride! That's my wine. <laughs> Happy Gay Pride, everybody. Come see us at the oh. LES space. Let's get Gay I Mary. think somebody needs a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the Pew Live. Uh, <laughs> uh, to Igor, our Alan Street Igor, will you bring stop. James another glass of wine? Uh, we have a new know. home. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Don't Here we are. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I think we do. <laughs> if you guys don't want a limousine to my house in Long Island right now, you I want a limousine. Yeah, can you guys call that up? No. No? Why not? We, we can, Uber won't even what? pick us up. Yeah. <laughs> huh? I will go and prostitute myself for car fare. For car fare? Yeah, just don't touch Baby, your baby, baby. For car fare? Come on. Let's go to West Ford. No. Honestly, I'm hungry. <laughs> you know, West they got Fourth? the cheesy what they get to down at West Fourth? Cheesy fries. I've got a prostitute. Well, we got myself? donuts inside. Well, we maybe. Donut. <laughs> oh, I guess. The idea has me it's horny. Sell you for cheesy fries. Yes, I'll be bit. prostituting myself for cheesy fries and lemonade. I always <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my freaking backyard. And if like you get me a hot dog. I love that railroad. Oh, yeah. You know uh, what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> she wants a Should be done. Yes. With lots of whipped cream all over my face. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Welcome to the pew. As you may notice that we're no longer at the WOW Theater. It's a different background. We are at the LES space uh, where it's still in the East Village, but only a few blocks away from the WOW Cafe Theater, which cruelly kicked us out last week after just one successful episode. Well, actually five successful episodes. So we're going to do a little dramatization of what happened at the WOW Cafe Theater. What went down for the benefit of those of you who were not there to see the ugly after show. Okay, Cece, Rebecca. Hi, I'm Rebecca. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna destroy you this time. Now, Ernie, Michael, you've been cast out of the Wild Cafe Theater, cast onto the street. 
I will destroy you. I'll destroy this show. This I vow in the name of bad silicone. First, it's Wild Cafe Theater. Next, I come for Facebook, Craigslist, Backpage, the city, and then the world. <laughs> you can't crush us. We, we will overcome. <laughs> we will overcome and Rebecca this. can't stop me. Rebecca, stop! Ah! Rebecca, 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 are you okay? You hit her, bitch. I'll win. You hit her, you fucking bitch. I will bitch. win. Get out of here. I'll get you, We're out of here. And Michael, too. We're going to go to a break, and we'll be right back. And now a word from our sponsor. You know, I was sort of shocked when they when they asked me the first time because normally I'm the one who's orchestrating, you know, this big show and inviting people to be part of or whatever. And um, it, I, this is kind of the first time that I was on the opposite end of that. I was I was busy focusing on my on my artwork and uh, cute guys butts. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome to welcome back to the pew. Welcome back to the pew. At the LES space, it's our new side. home and our, our new new home. And you'll <laughs> notice that the initials here are LES, not W O W. So this is the second W O W that we've had a little fallout with. Can you uh, can you just take our viewers over the brief history of our sad tale of W O W? Yes. Wow, it's sad. Wow, it's sad. Yes. Um, and the first W O W obviously was World of Wonder, um, where we were invited and then disinvited, and then the second. And that's all I'm allowed to talk about that. <laughs> Because what can I, I talk about? <laughs> I guess you can. You didn't sign a non-disclosure. I don't form. remember. <laughs> I actually don't remember what the problem was. I think it had to do with uh, objectionable content on our show, uh, or possibly an objectionable co-host. Are you insinuating that someone are on our you, show is objectionable? Are you insinuating? Are you? <laughs> so then we went. <laughs> so then we went to the Wow Cafe Theater, which Ooh, great, <laughs> where they graciously invited us in to do a series of shows that would last one month. A legend that would last a, l- a lunchtime. <laughs> it didn't even last the lunchtime. Well, it did last a lunchtime. One. Exactly one lunch time. Exactly one lunch time. <laughs> and uh, it was a very good party, and it actually stuck to our adage that it's never a good party unless there's some kind of violent well, yeah. disruption <laughs> or police showing up or something Bru-ha-ha. gets broken. <laughs> right, so you saw the brouhaha, the dramatization that we recreated for your benefit. And uh, for those of you who are lucky enough to be there in person, see it in person. I mean, was it luck? Would it be luck to have witnessed that sorry I think, I think, event, I think or would it so. have been I think it's tragedy? Of, no, I think it's luck. I think it's one of those things that you know, in time as time passes, people say, "Oh, I, I was there. <laughs> I remember the time. <laughs> I remember the time." <laughs> Rebecca got her wig pulled. It's, you know, I mean, it's sort of like Christina with the, by with the crazy the, drag, with Christina tranny. with the machete and the uh, and the birthday and the birthday cake. Uh, yes, yeah. tragedy and comedy, all in one brouhaha. Yeah. So, Thursday was Michael's one-man show, the, per, the debut of his show here at the LES space. You can it's see his of, art show, yeah. uh, here on the walls. Uh, also at Castle Fitzjohn's, which is a much bigger space. Uh, although, I don't know, do, do they have more paintings there than here? Yes, they, these, these are doubled up, but yes, they do have more there. 
All right, and then. But um, we're also um, doing. We're going to do something here sometime this week. Uh, this episode is showing on Monday. <laughs> so, right, this episode is Monday's episode. So um, I think maybe Tuesday or Wednesday we're going to be doing something at nighttime at the LES space um, where I'm going to bring a, a large painting, a large canvas, and then I'm going to start painting and we're going to invite people to um, join in and make a group painting. Messy. Messy but fun. So after the uh, the two galleries we went to Hotel Chantel where we had an after party uh, but before that we stopped oh, at like, the, right what was that place <laughs> called the, the uh, 317 gallery grand yeah it was on 317 grand street yeah and it was called the 317 gallery where there were two kidnapped children they sleep. weren't kidnapped they were uh, where did you find those little children <laughs> my repertoire of uh, Michael children. asked me if I knew anyone with children that would lend him their children, I was, and unfortunately, for two hours only. Unfortunately, all the people I know that have children, their kids are in high school or in college. So, or fortunately for them, <laughs> or fortunately, but we did find the children, and we had them for two hours, and we gave them back when we were done. All in one. They look. <laughs> they look like they were sleeping. Uh, they. They were, were probably tired. It was past. Their yes. Bedtime. Yes. They were tired. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you drugged them? No. So like, by no. that face, I, you drugged no, them? No, they were, they were tired. Okay. The thing. Well, <laughs> tired children. Then we went to Hotel <laughs> Chantel for the party there, and that was really fun. That was fun. It was nice. To see her A lot, lot of luminaries were there. Yeah. Anthony Hayden Guest oh, was there. Sylvie and, and Sylvie. Who else? Um... William and Carlin and James St. James, James was James there. And Gentilia and World Christopher of Wonder Trump with their camera crews were yeah. there. Who was the guy from MTV that was there? Who oh, reminds Jesse me? Camp. Yeah. Jesse Camp. Jesse Camp, who strangely reminds me of Stevie Nicks. Oh, I, I see that. He's kind of got that. that Stevie They're Nicks They're actually look. coming here today. Right, so you viewers will see later. If, he, if we can flash him on, we'll, we'll do that. But to me, he kind of looks like Stevie Nicks. I, I can see the, the example. Without the veils and without yeah. the, the dress. Yes. So were you happy with that? I was. I was I, I mean, you were crying at the... He I, was crying at the uh, <laughs> club. And um, at one point, somebody said, oh, he used to do that all the time at Limelight, at Disco 2000. So you were... He used to do what? That you would cry in the club <laughs> at one point because you'd be crying over some guy that you know, oh, didn't well, that like was you. That was something or, different. So it that was, was a different kind it, of. Crime. It was perceived as yet another attention shifting. Well, only as only somebody as like, only someone who knew yeah, you from a long time. No, as only someone at an event like that could perceive it. I mean, like, uh, you know. Well, there was a lot of only, old. Never, yes, exactly. There were a lot of old school people it's there. Been, speaking of attention shifting, the king of attention, sh king of all attention shifters, lukewarm, was at the event. Oh yeah, we're gonna flash a picture of this guy. I never knew his name was Luke Warm. Yes. But it was this crazy person who used to go to the club all dressed up. He would wear like. I don't know how crazy he is. I mean, he's crazy. <laughs> I mean, he? Okay, let the viewers decide. I think he's he more would, of a genius than crazy. Okay, he would come to the clubs dressed in his very fashionable jackets. It was a and red. He, it was usually a Union Jack, uh, British flag, red, white, and blue. Right, like a blazer, right? Yes. With a so, British, British flag on it. And he would be wearing a hat, and he would have some vintage magazine or upside newspaper down. upside down, so like this. <laughs> Obviously upside down with and, the name of the... And he would be standing in the corner to read. like he's reading it. And then if anybody... No, well, he's pretending he would, to read like that, but I hide it behind it. No, like he this. wouldn't hide it, though. It, it, he would be like this, reading it until... No, his, no, 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 he hid his face. Was, no, he didn't like hide his face. He didn't hide his face until... Until somebody looked until at him. Until somebody looked at him, and then... You know, somebody looked at him, all of a sudden, if he's noticed that somebody was looking at him. Yes. And then and if that's all he would do. And then if you tried to talk to him, right. he would run out of the room. Right. Or do this. You yeah. Know, you couldn't talk to him. Right. He Hi, so how are you doing? Social What's your name? anxiety. He has social anxiety disorder. He had social anxiety disorder before anybody else. This right. was in the late, late 80s and early but it was, 90s. But he was satirizing social anxiety disorder. Yeah, he was. Well, or, or at least we <laughs> think he was. He was. <laughs> but anyway, so he was, at, he was at the opening, and he hadn't gone out since... You know, 15 years, he hadn't gone out, and he came out for the opening. Yeah, we were happy to see him. Yeah, and he actually right. spoke to us this time. Yes, he spoke to us. He didn't have a newspaper. Sylvie was telling me funny stories about how she used to chase him through Disco 2000 with a <laughs> camera to take his picture, and he would never let her. He let me take his picture. Yeah, 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 we got, I, I took his picture on uh, Thursday night. Bitches want to know. What do they want to know? Mac and 
Max and MCC have searched high and low for your interview with Megyn Kelly on Fox News. Oh, I got. And they suspect that it's been removed from the internet. Why would they? Why would that happen? Why would they do that? Well, because they can't find it. No, I mean, why would they remove it from the internet? I mean, you can't. And anyway, how can they remove it? No, you can't. Yeah, it's still there. Keep looking. I'm. I can find it easily. I. I have. I have it. Maybe uh, we'll flash the URL. uh, Yeah, I was gonna say, can we? Can we put a link to it on the on the? Uh, Well, we'll look for it. Yeah, I found it. We're pretty sure it's there. I know it's there. I found it. Just like us. Yeah. See you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.